you know how it is there's that one niggly problem on every car we've all got one now in yours it might be something like the speedometer isn't working the courtesy lights aren't working but in this particular car my ranchero there's a problem with one of the marker lights at the front which i think is causing an issue with the side light now if i turn the lights on that'll be the side lights on i can show you what it's like at the front now this car is slightly different in as much as <clears throat> we've got a side light bulb in the headlight so as you can see that one's on at the minute we've also got a side light bulb in there now that is the full length of the radiator grill that's the side light marker that's on now but this is this unit is also the indicator but as well as that we're on the side we've also got side markers now this particular side marker is lit up as you can see however you go around the other side of the truck and you can see that side marker is not working that side light's working but that one's not now it's not initially a problem hello editing night here from the future just wanted to jump in this quick video here and say that whilst i was editing it i realized the mistake i made in the last little clip that you saw there of course american cars of this age didn't have side light bulbs built into the headlights the side lights were always separate so when i've turned the lights on at the start of that clip there what i've actually done is turned the side lights and the headlights on hence why the headlights lit up so i, I do realize i did realize when i was doing the edit that i did make a mistake so they're actually not two sets of side lights at the front of the car the side markers are the side are the side lights which is why they light up in the radio grill a lot of american cars of that age the side lights and the indicators are actually in the same unit so any further instances in the next couple of clips that come up where i say the headlight is a like a second side light bulb that's in there that's not the case on this car the headlights are purely headlights so i've just turned pulled the switch out too far and turned the side light on the side lights on as well as the headlights anyway just wanted to clear that up back to the video and not having a side light on this isn't really a problem let's disconnect the battery owing to the fact that there's a side light unit built into the headlight so i don't really need that one in the radiator grill however with it being such a huge panel and such a huge part of the radiator grill on the front at night when you're driving and it's all lit up this entire panel lights up now it looks a bit silly driving around with the one on that side fully lit up in this one in darkness until you start indicating so one of the niggly things is wrong i've taken the bulb out of this one swapped it into that one on that side and it works exactly as it should so it's not a problem with the bulb on this side which leads to a couple of other variations of what it could be now it's entirely possible that it's a bad earth a bad connection in the wires a broken wire or it could be the bulb in the side marker on the passenger side of the vehicle so what i'm going to do first is check the bulb in there before i go into the wiring because it's always worthwhile checking on the cheap stuff or the free stuff first now the easiest way to get to that on the inside i'll show you where it is now there's no access to these side markers from outside the car they actually do fit from the outside there's a little dished area like you can see around there so they fit into there but they actually bolt in from the inside of the wing now on this one there's no inner wings there's an inner wing support and there's the the mud guard or the wheel housing but your actual side light unit is way back here so i can get you in and if you can actually see back in there past the battery and up but it's way back there and all it is is there's a little plastic clamp once you find it and it twists out so you just twist it and it pulls out so i've got that now cutting it out so i can get the the bulb out yeah there we go right so there's the bulb now that is known as a 194 and depending where you buy them from they may have letters before or after them uh, but it's typically it's a 194 it's bullet shaped and it has the two wires on the end it's just a push fit it doesn't matter which around you plug it in it's going to work regardless this one looks to be okay so let's just see if we can test it and see if it is okay and if i hold the bulb on that side of the battery touch that bit of wire 
so we can see there the bulb's working. So I know it's not a problem with the bulb. After cleaning the tunnels on the socket, now I don't know if you're going to be able to see in there at all, but the uh, the socket plugs in back there. There it is. So it plugs in back there, just goes in and twists. I have getting it working. The way I did it was I cleaned the circuits, I cleaned the terminals rather, and then I just got one of these, which is an ordinary bulb in an old socket, through a little bit of chocolate block, and uh, plug this or push this into the live side of the terminals and then uh, push that one into the earth side of the terminals turn the side lights on and this bulb actually came on and lit up so when i put the old bulb back in to the socket with the clean circuits on it it was working so i've plugged it back into the car and as you can see it's all lit up in there now and as well as that i've also got the side lights showing in the radiator grill well, that was a nice easy fix for a change. It was just a matter of down there not getting a good earth because of corrosion on the terminals. Once they were cleaned up and everything was plugged back in together, obviously, as you saw, everything started working again. Hopefully, you enjoyed watching this video. Uh, if you did, give it a like. Don't forget to share the video and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. It does help support the channel. You'd be amazed how much difference it makes to uh, the, the amount of videos that get shared out across YouTube if you're a subscriber to the channel. Completely free of charge doesn't cost you anything at all it's just something to say that you're helping support the channel uh, if you do have any ongoing niggling problems with your cars i'd love to know what they are especially the silly ones that you, you can't seem to find out what the problem is but it's something so simple that it, it sounds like it's going to be an easy one leave a comment below and let us know if you've got any little niggly problems with your car that you're trying to work out on in the meantime i'll leave a link up here to the other videos we've done on the ranchero and if you haven't if you're just recently new to the channel or you've just found the channel or recently subscribed if you haven't watched them all as yet you'll be able to see everything that's gone on with the ranchero so far to date thanks for watching guys and uh, we'll see you in another video very soon where no doubt we'll be working on one of the other cars sorting out hopefully some more easy fixes bye for now